First up, uh, explain to us what an alternate Congress is and why should we should have one is Ariana Parsons. So let's give it up for Ariana. Yeah. Okay, I am Ariana. I did not think to put in a cushion slide for the intro, so we have to jump right into this Parsons. And this is Alternative Congress. If you learn anything about Alternative Congress tonight, I want it to be that this is a concept that is a nonprofit, nonpartisan Congress, and it's a social experiment. I wanted to take these slides to determine whether or not we needed an alternate Congress. But um, again, no question. So real quick, how many of you approve of the job that the traditional Congress is doing? Show of hands. <laughs> That's, uh, OK, so I'm going to say that we've just established a need. And we can move on. Um, these have some good statistics and facts. I hope that you look up this slide presentation later. What the uh, Alternative Congress is, is it is, a non, it is a political analysis tool. It is a lesson in civic engagement. It is a more representative Congress, and it's uh, definitely not a liberal Congress. It is definitely not a fantasy Congress. It is not a form of anarchy, so I hope that you do get that, that I am not an anarchist, and that's not, I'm not trying to overthrow the government. And now, finally, okay, so what it could be. It, is, it could be a proofing ground for community leaders in the making. It could be um, a people and issue-focused version of Congress. And it can certainly be a think tank for ideas to find solutions to pressing issues in a more collective matter. If you're wondering how an alternate Congress would work, well, this is how. It's like the match game from the 70s and this great um, picture of a guy holding up a sign. This is pot. Um, anyone can fill out and run for Congress. They fill out a survey. As a constituent, you fill out a survey, and you're actually matched with a potential candidate. So it'll be structured as a nonprofit. All money that is donated to Alternative Congress will actually go to a governing body. The money will be used for overhead and then given out to the congressman in the form of a stipend if there's money left over. Um, the members of Alternate Congress will interact with their constituents in any way they want to, but it's mostly going to be through social media. So it's all online, but they can certainly also go into their communities. It's really important to know that all members of Alternative Congress, all the Congress people, will have to vote on the current legislation in traditional Congress. So we're trying to mirror that as closely as possible. Um, but they can also put forth their own legislation and amended le legislation as well. And it's our hope that through all of this, because it's a nonprofit, because you don't have to have a lot of money to run for this, because it's all online and it's all through nonprofit donations, you actually will attract different people from different backgrounds and have a more representative, more socioeconomic status is represented in your Congress. It is true that Alternative Congress has no real legislative power, and that's a sticking point for a lot of people, but I would encourage you to think about what power actually is. Power, knowledge is power, information is power, and the root of our power here lies in our ability to stop speculating and start pointing to the specifics. What would happen if a nonpartisan Congress voted on the same legislation? Real quick, how many of you think that we could ruin even a non-powerful Congress really fast? <laughs> right, so this is interesting, right? This is a good idea, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I, I give it two to three years. Um, potential, <laughs> these are the potential pitfalls. Obviously, time and energy, um, intensive. I don't know if you thought about it, it takes a lot of time and energy and money to start your own Congress. It's a, it's a really strange thing. Um, this is obviously the best idea ever. No offense to everybody else who's presenting this evening. Um, so we have to move forward on this. And we have some, I have some ideas for you on how you could get involved and to learn more about this. Obviously, we need to get together a structure of key players. I need lawyers, um, like it says here, to get me off charge because of treason. Uh, political science majors, this would be great for a classroom to get involved with and take this on. Funders, you, of course, the public, very, very important. You can donate money, 10, 15, 20 million dollars would be great. Um, you can spread the word, you can email me, you can Facebook, there is an Alternative Congress Facebook page. Man, that was fast. If uh, you have any need for clarification on any of these things, please uh, contact me. 
visit the Facebook page, et cetera, et cetera. I did manage somehow to sneak in two closing slides. Um, this is my personal email. No spam mail unless it's a chain letter that if I don't send it on, I will die. Um, because I would really appreciate the little heads up on that one. Contact me um, and I'll stick around after and I hope you come talk to me more about this. Thanks.